For the many fans of Sergei Rachmaninoff music, the chance to hear the Isle of the Dead is quite a treat. For me, it's one of his most compelling pieces, a really extended symphonic poem, 25 minutes long, exploring all the emotion that one might feel, crossing the river Styx, approaching Hades. Rachmaninoff composed this work in 1908, shortly after his second symphony, one of his most popular symphonies, uh, shortly before composing his third piano concerto, one of his most popular concertos. Um, it was a time of, of real assurance for him, and shortly before he first came to the United States to tour, he was really becoming internationally known. Uh, why he wanted to compose a work on such a dark topic, we really don't know, except that he had seen a painting, actually he saw a black and white reproduction of a beautiful oil painting by the Swiss symbolist painter Arnold Birkeland, which depicts Charon ferrying a soul across the river Styx to Hades. Birkeland actually used the English cemetery of Venice as his image and sad to say his own daughter had been buried in that cemetery, so clearly it had a powerful meaning to the painter, which somehow transferred to the composer. The music begins with a very unusual meter. It's in 5-8, meaning five beats to the measure, an uneven division of the measure that conjures an image of oars pulling across the river with a swelling kind of harmonic motion underneath to give you a sense of the current and the inexorable progress that you're making across the river. Uh, gradually creeping in through the piece, more and more clearly are the first four notes of the Dies Irae, that part of the Requiem Mass that was so fascinating to composers from Berlioz right through Rachmaninoff and into the 20th century. The Isle of the Dead may be the fullest expression in Rachmaninoff's music of that dark side of the Slavic soul that we find even in his most glittering works. He had recently gone through a horrible three years of depression and creative paralysis, uh, which he escaped only through psychoanalysis. Um, and it might be that experience that he's recalling in this piece, that, that, sen that deadening sense, uh, that instead now he's able to sublimate into a great work of art that's really compelling from beginning to end. What was a blockage is now a work of art.